Raptor is a visual programming environment based on flowcharts. This video will discuss variables, basic math operations, and built-in math functions. A variable is a named location in memory that can store values. These values can change as a program executes. This Raptor program uses four input symbols to read the X and Y coordinates of two separate points, an assignment symbol to calculate the distance between them, and an output symbol to display the results. The program is complete except for the assignment symbol. The formula for calculating the distance between two points is based on the Pythagorean theorem. It is, of course, not necessary to derive in this manner every formula needed in a computer program, but it is important that you understand the problem before attempting to code a solution. Also, it is a good idea to calculate a few values by hand to use as test data. Filling in points 0, 0, and 3, 4 results in the value 5, and points 0, 0, and 1, 1 result in the value 1.4142. Now we are ready to code this formula in Raptor. First, we'll use the variable distance, since our program doesn't really have a triangle. The first part of the formula we write is actually the last part that is calculated, the square root. Raptor has a built-in function to calculate the square root of a number, written as sqrt, with parentheses enclosing what is called a parameter. In this case, this is the value whose square root will be calculated. Next, the subtraction of the x-coordinates is written exactly as it is in the formula. The exponent operation is written using the caret symbol. Notice the parentheses that ensure the subtraction is done before the value is squared. Finally, adding the same calculation for the y-coordinates finishes the formula. The completed Raptor assignment symbol has now been added to our program. The content of a symbol is often wrapped to make it fit. If this makes it difficult to read, the tooltip that pops up when the mouse hovers over a symbol is helpful. It is also sometimes helpful to change the scale or zoom in Raptor to show more detail. Raptor has numerous other built-in mathematical functions that can be found in the general help. A quick reference to all math operators is here, and there is also an entire section on math in Raptor for more detail. Executing this program and typing the coordinates 0, 0, and 3, 4 displays the expected result of 5. Executing again with the coordinates 0, 0, and 1, 1 results in 1.4142. Executing the program with known values is a good first step. As your programs become more complex, it is important to think about what other types of values should be used when testing a program. In particular, boundary conditions and potential errors such as dividing by zero should be tested. Recall the second part of the definition of a variable says the value of a variable can change as a program executes. So far our program has put values into variables, but the values have not changed. After calculating the distance once, let's put new values into the x2 and y2 variables and see what happens to the value in the distance variable. First, select, copy, and paste the two input symbols at the end of the program. I'll change enter to re-enter so we can see a difference when these execute. Now, select, copy, and paste the output symbol at the end of the program. I'll add the word new to the text of the output. Entering 0, 0, and 3, 4 causes the assignment symbol to calculate and store the value 5 in the distance variable. The output symbol sends this result to the master console. Now the program continues execution to the new input symbol. Notice the prompt now says re-enter. The program is now executing the new symbol to read a new value for x2. Notice the watch window shows x2 currently contains a 3. Typing 1 and pressing enter stores this new value in x2 as shown in the watch window. It is important to understand the 3 is overwritten and cannot be recovered. Typing 1 again stores a new value in y2. Notice the value displayed by the new output symbol is still 5. Even though the values of x2 and y2 were changed, the value of distance was not. An assignment symbol is an action to be performed at a specific point in time with values that are in memory at that specific time. An assignment symbol is not simply a statement of truth that holds throughout the execution of a program. To fix this, the assignment symbol is copied between the two new input symbols and the new output symbol. Executing again shows the second value of distance is now correct.
This is the end of this video. You should now be able to use basic math operations, built-in math functions, and proper sequencing of input and assignment symbols to do various calculations.